Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to unlock your Lincoln Continental. This is a tough one to get into. A lot of people have some uh, issues trying to get in there, so I figured I'd make a video out of it and show you how I get it done. Alright, so this is a 2019 Lincoln Continental. And you can see inside these vehicles they don't have traditional door handles inside right they only got those buttons and stuff like you see on the driver's side door over there underneath the steering wheel there that's the unlock button for it that's what we're gonna hit on this side of the vehicle of course but we're gonna be going for that button right there and we're gonna press it really hard with our tool which I'll show you here in a minute but when I unlock a vehicle, I always come over to the passenger side just out of preference. You can go to either side of the vehicle. Um, I use, one second, I use Access Tools Super Air Jack for all my unlocks. And this is made by Access Tools. You can call a phone number and get a hold of them and get their website, or you can look it up through Google. Um, if you're doing this yourself at home and you're trying to save some money, you can go to Home Depot and get an airbag similar to this in the door and window aisle usually. Um, what you want to do is let all the air out of it, like so. Then you want to put it into the door frame, like so. And just kind of work it all the way through. Be careful not to get your fingernails to rub onto this plastic right here because it'll put little minute little scratches into it like that which you don't want to do right so always cup your your fingertips back like that so you don't scratch it even on this back part back here and then just kind of feed this through with two hands is better than one so one here and one here and kind of saw it through the door frame or you can go through the top of the door if you'd like i'm going to pause it for a minute while i go ahead and shimmy that through there Okay, so normally I'd like to get my bag in further than this, but the way the door is designed with the weather uh, stripping in there, it's not allowing me to do that. So that's about as far as I can get it at the moment. I'm just gonna pump it up a little bit, and then I think I'm gonna put another airbag into the top. See how this reacts, see how this trim piece reacts. If it sounds like it starts to come off because I really don't like the belly the bag out like that i'd like to get it in a little bit deeper because i don't like to push this plastic piece off but we'll see how it reacts we're just going to pump it up by closing the valve here and then just pumping it up and when we do that we're going to get a little bit of a gap in between the door frame and the door once we can see daylight inside which i can kind of see right here we know we got enough of a gap so that plastic seems like it's doing fine on there I'll go ahead and take my reach tool this is access tools green reach tool this is a quarter inch metal rod it's just bent uh, kind of like a little shape like that just to be able to reach into a car and hit a button or something right and it has a rubber tip on the end of it here so it doesn't hit the windshield and crack the windshield or scratch the door panels and it's coated in this plastic here so it won't scratch any of the paint it has this little handle back here and this is made by access tools you can also order that from them but if you're doing this yourself at home you can go to home depot and buy a metal rod quarter inch metal rod, bend it up, and tape up the end of it with some electrical tape, and that'll work as well. We're just gonna take this tool, feed it right through the door frame like so. Nice and easy, doesn't scratch anything or tear anything up when we're going in. And then we're gonna come over here to that button that I showed you, which is right there. And we're gonna push in as hard as we can and get that to pop in. Right. 
All right, y'all, so per usual, I ran out of storage space when it was recording, but it did pop right after that, and the way that I'm doing it, as you saw, is I'm just putting this reach tool in through the door like so. Coming down here to the door handle button, not the unlock button, that's the unlock button there. And so what we're doing is just pushing this, but you gotta push with a lot of force, which means you gotta kinda, you know, take your tool and just kind of get it in there and push as hard as you can and when you do that it will eventually pop it and, and unlock it so you see now that we shut the door everything's nice and tight the plastic here is not messed up it's not pushed out or anything um, the weather stripping is nice and tight door panels aren't scratched no scratching to the paint here no tearing to the weather stripping no cracking the windshield Nothing like that and when you shut it it's nice and tight and flush like it's never been broken into that's how you unlock your lincoln continental all right you guys that's how to unlock your lincoln continental that was the third or fourth time i've unlocked this vehicle so uh she knows i'm the only one in town that can unlock it tell them can anyone else unlock your car no see i even ask for him when i do it see there she's had other people come out and try to unlock her car before and they could never get it open so again that's why i made this video hopefully to help you guys out so don't forget to like and subscribe drop me a comment and i'll see you guys on the next video bye now